from Central Illinois. It's the Sofa King oh, Awesome Show. Rock, metal, 80s, retro. It's not just good, it's Sofa King good. Oh, baby. Listen every Friday wherever you get your podcasts. Spotify, Apple, even <laughs> YouTube. And now, Sofa King Awesome. Here are your hosts, Thundersticks, on the Sofa King Awesome Show. Welcome, everyone, to another amazing episode of the Sofa King Awesome Show with a multi-camera setup here. Joining us this evening is members of Woody LeBaron. Give it up for these guys. We got uh, Tyler and Dave. What's hey, up? Not a lot, man. Just just got here. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of drive for them. They, they had to drive about, was it about an hour or so? Something yeah. like that. So... All right, like, like I said, we are here with members of Woody LeBaron here this evening, and I have a song that I'm going to play for you so you can get familiar with them. It is called Beer and Cheese, and they will give us an explanation about it after this. All right. <laughs> That is Woody LeBaron, everybody, out of Taylorville, Illinois, and they're pretty fucking awesome. They're <clears throat> one of my favorite local bands that I've seen recently. Nothing against anybody else. They just, uh, you know, I've kind of seen everybody else, and I like their, they got me excited with their punk scene and punk vibes and shit and just all the different influences that they have, and uh, we'll have them take it away with the explanation of that song, Beer and Cheese. Okay. Um <clears throat> Actually, that was wrote in a different band, and uh, whenever I joined Woody LeBaron, I offered it to them, and they were like, oh, that's cool, but we want to change the lyrics. Right. So Brad made up Beer and Cheese, and it's all about beer and cheese. Fine cheeses. <laughs> yes, that's one of the songs that From I sing. From across the globe. Oh, yeah. yeah. Of course. Oh, yeah. Now, is that the one that goes abroad a lot? or who yeah. Go, yeah, okay. That's yeah, he's always up. traveling. That's what's up, dude. Yeah, I got a passport I'm itching to use, too, so I fucking feel that. <laughs> um, now, you guys are five-piece, yes. right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. So who is not pictured this evening? Uh, Brad. Mario is the other guitar player, mm -hmm. and we have Dave, which we actually call him Larry because there's two Daves. <laughs> it's a nightmare. And he's a drummer, and then we have Brad, which is the singer. Right. Yep. So. Okay. Hell yeah. And then we got Dave and Tyler. 
Oh yeah. What's up? What's up? Hello, hello. Hello, hello. 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 <laughs> so, uh, t- I mean, tell us a little bit about your souls. Your what's your, what's your background? Who do you you know? What's what's some of your practicing routine? What do you play on? Well, uh, I started playing alto saxophone way back. When, like I was like eleven years old. That shit's coming back, dude. Oh, I hope it doesn't. Not for me. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't Kenny G. I ain't Bill Clinton. I'm good on that. That's hilarious. But um, I uh, eventually moved on to uh, acoustic guitar a little bit and just kind of hated it. And then I heard the band Tool when I was about like 13. And of course, being 13 and hearing Tool, it blew my mind and I needed an electric bass. And yes, eventually I moved back up to guitar and uh, that's kind of where I'm needed, I guess. So I keep playing it. <laughs> cool. So how long have you been playing guitar? Like seven, eight years okay. around there. What do you like practicing to? What's some of your, you know, favorite riffage from other bands? Uh, the band Refused. I like playing a lot of their stuff. Um, oh, yes. The Fall of Troy, a little bit of their stuff, but not too much because it, it gets, it, it, it's out there. It's really hard. Um, At the Drive-In, that's okay. another great one. Nice. Uh, then there's like Stormtroopers of Death, like old thrash metal, like uh, Death Angel, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, And then other than that, I'm just usually noodling around on uh, the same old, same old, Stuff that I'm usually playing, I don't know. <laughs> now, how long you been been with Woody LeBaron? Uh, about a year, a year and a half. Yeah, last August is whenever we tried you out. Yeah, oh man. So no, <laughs> wait, then it's not even a year. Coming up on oh, a new year. Oh wow, yeah, year, yeah, yeah. Cool. coming up ten months. Hell yeah, something like that. <laughs> All right, Dave, number one. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> well, um, uh. My mom had a piano, and whenever I was 13, I would... Man, I thought he was going somewhere else. Either. You're like, my mom and dad had <laughs> sex, and then, like, nine months later, <laughs> like, in the back of... <laughs> oh, my God. So, uh, so yeah, piano. You know, I was, like, 13 and right. bored all the time, so I'd uh-huh. sit down, and I, start, I actually started right. off on the piano. Wow. Okay. And then okay. my mother decided that she needed a desk and got rid of the piano and got a desk. So, I was like, well, Struck. what do I want to do now? Right. How could she? And, uh... I actually have a really funny story of how I started playing bass. Let's do it. Um, One of my friends took me over to a local band that was playing in their, you know, front front room. Uh And I was like, well, this is really cool. You know, I didn't think much of it. And then the bass player, like, went and got a drink or something and Mm -hmm. set his stuff down. And my friend was like, well, it sounds a lot different without the bass. I'm like, I didn't, you know, I didn't even notice. Right. So then I don't know if it was just subconsciously or something, but uh-huh. ever since then, I've made it a point to always listen to the bass. So it stands out to you. Yeah. yeah. No, I know, I definitely notice it. Uh, yeah, when you know that it's there and then you don't hear that it's there is definitely a game changer of, like, the vibes, you know, so. Very true. <clears throat> now, how long have you been in Wind of Baron? Um, probably about four years. Okay. How long has the band been together? Quite a while? or uh, uh, It's kind of like a Frankenstein's monster at this point. Yeah. <laughs> who's, the, who's the original left? Uh, Brad is the only original Brad? left. Brad? Okay. No, but it's cool. <laughs> They're bands. Hey, that's that's a lot of rich history behind that. So that's that's what's up, man. I dig it. Just about every band, band punk band that's played in Taylorville, almost at least one member has been in Woody LeBaron, I believe. Like, it's pretty crazy, actually. Hell yeah. That's what's up, dude. Hell yeah. Um, actually, I was in a band called Resistant to Reason, and uh, the guitar, yeah, well, one of the guitar players that was originally in it, uh-huh. well, actually one of the founders, texted me and said, hey, do you want to join Whittley the Baron? And I'm like, well, you know, I've got RTR to worry about. And everything. Right. That's what's up. Now, what uh, what are some of your, you know, background influences? Like? Know, um, well, uh, whenever I first started playing bass, which was whenever I was 19, I'm kind of uh-huh. old, so... Uh, I really got into Tool's second album. Okay. Toe. <laughs> you guys bun- b- bunch of Tool fans over here. Yeah, it's unfortunate. <laughs> it is. No, it's okay. I, I don't I don't hate them. I just like they're not a band that I saw after to hear. I respect them. Don't fucking hate me. It's whatever. I just They're kinda pretentious. Yeah, it's not I didn't my, say that. Yeah. <laughs> and then after I learned pretty much that whole album, I was like, Well, what can I do now? You know? Yeah. And then I really got into eighty eight fingers Louie with with Joe Principal. Well, I mean, base. given though, being, you know, if you're wanting to learn like so much, you know, of unorthodox 
just badassness play tool. You know what I mean? Like, I remember as a kid growing up, my, you know, uh, what I think it was like Schism and then what was it? Oh, uh, uh, Metallica's, uh, got that bass riff that starts out in the beginning. Uh, is it For Whom the Bell Tolls? No. Um, there's a few. <laughs> I, I know. I can't think of it. Is it Anesthesia, the whole solo? Yes, there okay. we go. Yes. I Man, I was thinking Annabelle, but I am like in Fantasia at the same time. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So I'm like, come on, somebody's got to say it. Yes, other than me. No, but I get, you know, being I'm, I'm a little bit older too. I mean, not older than you, but I'm still almost 40. But tool, <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> I got a walker we can give you on the way back. I got a okay, thanks. I'll probably need it. <laughs> get one of them seat things that just like... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, man. Sorry. We'll have a hover round at the top for you. <laughs> now, uh, I these guys are going to be on the Sofa King Fest this year, uh, this September 2nd. It's from 1 to 11. Tickets are $8 in advance from the bands, all the bands that are on the flyer currently right now. We got a few from St. Louis. They're from Taylorville, Peoria, Jacksonville, Springfield, really just all over the central Illinois area. That's awesome. And the second one's already picking up steam, so that's pushing for, I think, I, I looked at a date like June 1st or something. I think it's like a Friday or Saturday. So I think that seems pretty like DSO. So Heck yeah. Yeah. So um, what other shows you guys got coming up? Do you know? Um, actually, we don't have anything planned other than the, the sofa king. Yeah, so. cool. Yeah, we're just kind of working on stuff that we've been writing, planning on recording that, and other than that, we are just, I don't know. Just writing? No, yeah, that's pretty cool. much. Uh, how many songs do you have collectively, like, show worthy? If you were to headline. Um, 11? Ish, yeah. I mean. 11-ish? Yeah, yeah. 10 solid, working on 11. Yeah. Well, I uh, well, I would surprise a thirteen ish if we're going to do that because th- we have a couple that are really bare bones, but they're definitely in the works. Right. Well, that's what's up, man. Yeah, we're kind of weird. We just don't work on one song. We work on like three at a time. No, that's cool. That's <laughs> yeah, that's how you get shit done, man. That's what's up. What was the uh, what was the last show you guys played? Was it the Curve In or no? Uh, the last show we actually did a <laughs> put together a benefit for Table Needs a Skate Park. Okay. And that was last weekend. Yeah. That was last weekend. Oh, how was that turned out? I uh, almost made $700 for the skate park. So oh, hell yeah. Nice. Not bad. Nice. Uh, we had uh, my friend Brandon Durbin. Mm-hmm. He did a solo thing. He was great. He was very, very good. Yep. And then we had uh, Inch and Huey from Peoria. Okay. He showed up and okay, yeah, I've out heard of them. And we closed up the show and made almost $700 for a good cause. That's what's up, man. Hell so. yeah. Hell yeah. Shout out to Brandon Durden, right? Brandon yeah, Durden. Yeah. And Durden Huey. Yeah. And Jen Huey. Hell yeah from Peoria. That's what's up, dude. Now, um, do you guys have uh any plans to go to the studio or anything soon to talk about a single or um actually uh our friend is putting together everything we need to record. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we talked about it at practice yesterday and oh. we're thinking about <laughs> next weekend sitting down and recording so hell yeah hell yeah it's gonna be awesome now what uh what are we recording what are we recording how many songs do you know what songs we haven't gotten that far yet i think we're probably going to end up re-recording a few songs that were previously recorded or were completely finished and unrecorded but we're also probably going to have at least one two new ones and uh capital burn capital p burn yeah we still play that one live it's a Great uh, song about burning people with white phosphorus. <laughs> yep. All right. Well, let's get into that song <laughs> real quick. <laughs> Who's up? So much to choose. 
Um, I play on uh, usually LTD, ESP stuff. I, I don't know. I just like the neck profile a lot. And also, I have a Les Paul and I have a Super Strat. And I lo- just the Les Paul has really warm pickups, but at the same time, they're extremely hot. Like, they, they just scream out. But the Super Strat's just ridiculous. Like, it, it's just, it's almost a little bit too much sometimes. It also has a really flat, wide neck, and it's just great for easy access to like higher notes to a um, 24 fret so it has both octaves fully it makes it good for tapping parts and stuff like that oh yeah we do like to tap unfortunately <laughs> dave what do you play on uh i play a washburn xb 400 yeah how long have you been playing that um shit probably 20 22 years yeah it looks like a bow, like like an actual like b- bow and arrow bow. Like it, I have never seen a truss rod cry <laughs> so hard for. The <laughs> action is like at least three eighths of an inch from the. It, Damn, dude, bro! Dude. So your finger power is probably just like out of this world. He's playing chords on this thing, just casually, just hanging out. It's like, what are you doing? <laughs> Wait till he gets a new bass, and he's gonna be like. Bruh, 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 bruh. See, he got a new bass, and then he kept using the other one. <laughs> <laughs> So I don't get it. I just don't get it. The carpal tunnel. Yeah, I don't know. I just like the way the washburn sounds. It sounds very good. I can't really get it. That sound out of anything else I've played. So yeah, I want to find you a new bolt-on neck for that thing, man. I swear to God. That's got to be tough, man. I'll send you a picture of it. You need to see it. <laughs> it's, it's unbelievable. <laughs> what about some uh, local Taylorville band stories, Dave? I'm sure you got a few oh, of them. I yeah. What's some other Taylorville? I mean, yeah, bands and stories and. Y- Okay, well, uh, we'll start off with the bands that I know about. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, uh, we have Swill. Okay. Which there's a few people from Woody LeBaron in that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It happens. They've been around for a while, I guess. And then we have the Muscles. Okay. Uh, they're a national touring act. Out yeah. Available. Cool. Um, Self-abused. 40 pound. Oh, hold on. 40 pound <laughs> dump truck. Okay. Uh, they just recorded. Uh, yeah. They're they're punkish. Okay. Um, 
Oh, uh, your buddy's band, Bo. Um, Jake, um, Caleb's band. Caleb, yeah. Yeah, they don't really have a name yet. They're they're more on the metalcore side. They're they're really good. They they just need to get a name, and they need to finally start playing some shows because. Which we will hook them up with. That's what's up. Yeah, <laughs> so <laughs> that's it's all I'm looking to do, and I see every, all, a bunch of other bands taking uh, action to just be more active throughout local shows and like supporting other bands, and that's just really what's going. I like building a strong metal community is what it's going to take with the bands, obviously at first, because I mean I've been there where you play at yeah. V Planet in Springfield. That's you know, and you're the only people you're playing in front of is the other fucking bands that right. are there. Been there, <laughs> done that. You know what so I mean. Right. And it, you know, and once you just, it, you see, once it just, it's got to take, seeing is believing. That's just all it's going to take is just other people to see the fun. Right. You know, constantly, I'm not saying like shoving it down the throat. I'm just saying like, you know, posting videos of all the good shows that you go to, spreading, you know, awareness of all the other local bands that are right here and how much fun and the energy, the, the networking, the, you know, just all the action in general, I think, you know, there's enough videography and photography to go around for everybody and enough shows to be booked for everybody. Like it's everybody can stay busy, you know, even with everybody, their mom being or having a home studio still, they would be busy, you know, recording bands or their friends bands or, you know, independent artists. So, you know, and it's, it's amazing how much music is out there, you know, because like you said you're in multiple bands, you know. Uh, I know that pe- members from Soul Sleeper are in mild cartoon violence, you know. Um, and then members of Slaughter Dogs are in Misery Garden, you know, all out of Springfield and stuff. So those are all pretty cool dudes. Uh, have you guys played the Blue Grouch yet? No. In Springfield? We, we've you played guys? the Buzz Bomb. We've played the Curve. Um, have we played anywhere else in Springfield? You no, play okay. Buzz Bomb with Hessian, yeah, Hessian, Hessian Lord. Lord, yeah, Hessian Lord. I, I've been mispronouncing that this I whole time. I have no idea. Whoops. Who, yep, Hessian, <laughs> Hessian. Yeah, and um, uh, we we play with Hessian Lord and uh, Robot Army that night. Oh yeah, at Buzz Bomb. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All good guys. All good dudes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now, um, do you have anything booked after the Sofa King Fest or nothing no, lined up as of, as of yet? No. No, yeah, so that's eight other bands. Uh, there's kind of, there's one off act. It's more like rap, rock metal, you know, but he's a independent artist, uh, Newcomb Nash from St. Louis. Uh, and then the, there's another local band here who wanted to jump on. Um, their band's called Short Notice. And so Perfect. I didn't want to say they jumped on Short nice. Notice because they <laughs> weren't sure. Technically, they, you know, Three months ain't really short notice, but, you know, I gave him uh, a little bit of local love just to be around these people and network with these guys and just to see, you know. Hey, man, that's what it's all about. Like, it don't it don't really matter what music you're playing as long as you're playing music and supporting music. Like, yeah, yep. for real. You know, so we're going to work it out. We're going to build a little drum riser and stuff out there. Uh, they just played outside the other night, so we were – I wasn't there personally. Uh, it's kind of hard to get on shows on Saturdays for me because I have my daughter – you know, and then usually everybody's playing bars, you know, and that can really only take her, like, bigger venues that are all ages, you know, where they technically wristband and all this other stuff, yep. you know. So, I mean, I could take her clearly because she's not, she's seven, you know what I mean? Like, she's definitely, you're like, you're not 21. <laughs> but they even have to ask. <laughs> I know. <laughs> like, clearly she's not, no. But, yeah, because neither, yeah, I don't drink, so it wouldn't really be anything for me. But I just... I wanted to bring her up around that, you know, run the local shows and the bands. And because she's, she's already been several shows with me. So, I mean, it's, I don't know if you guys got kids or anything. He does. And I fortunately do not yet. Bring them to shows and do all that vibe stuff. Because I'm not just buying one tour t shirt now. Now I got to buy two tour t shirts and a pink hoodie and a. Right. <laughs> Woohoo. All that fun, all that fun drive stuff. So. Custom yeah, actually, that, that benefit that we put together for the skate park, it was an all-ages show, and yeah. we had the best mosh pit, and it was all little kids. It that's was awesome. Yes. i seen a viral video of a uh, mosh pit going on outside of GameStop when Zelda was dropping. Bro. Did you see? <laughs> no, I did not. Oh, I'm going 
going to find this. Oh, hell yeah. We're going to pull up, we're going to do some Joe Rogan stuff. Oh, yeah. Jamie, can you pull up the, the Zelda mosh pit? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. It's, it's giving me, like, major Denny's Grand Slam vibes, and I haven't even. Right. That was just the 10-year anniversary. What the fuck is up, Denny's? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> what is What is even What? It is what is happening? Metal, dude. dude, what is happening? What? <laughs> Oh man, that's Wait. wicked. <laughs> what? Amazing stuff, man. Oh. Ah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So that's what I, yeah. So that's yeah, sweet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so Denny's now GameStop. I think I think Baines is this gonna be like the new uh Restaurants and bands, we, or, or businesses and bands. We like. call dibs on Waffle House. We call dibs on the stickiest Waffle House in the you United States. You better fucking do it. You, you already put the thought out there. You better hop on it. We don't even have one that close. Do we have one yeah, in Springfield? Yeah, in Edwardsville, I think. Okay. It's in Edwardsville, yeah. Yeah, yeah we were, I mean, you uh, fucking the, get a hold of that GM tomorrow <laughs> and be like, hey, this Friday we're doing a show in the parking lot. Is that cool? All right, thanks. Dude, no, like, I was just there. The fuck is up Waffle House? <laughs> Me and uh, our drummer, actually, for Woody LeBaron, we're just down there for a show where we saw uh, Bouncing Souls, Sam I Am, and all them at a... Uh, it don't matter. But we were coming back up. <laughs> we were coming back up from the show, and he's like, yeah, man, it's like tradition for us to stop at Waffle House. And all I can think is, oh, God, I go to Ohio too much. There's just Waffle House. It's like every other block. It's uh. like churches in Taylorville. It's weird. <laughs> um, and we walk in, like, I, you touch the door, and it's like, Okay, peel myself off this. Oh, yep, the floor. And then you sit down. It's like, oh, I have to use the bathroom. May God have mercy on my soul. Mm. Just, oh, <laughs> well. Major shout out to Waffle House, though. Hell yes. Thanks for existing. What up, Waffle House? What the fuck is up, Waffle House? <laughs> <laughs> well, hell yeah. <laughs> well, if uh, where can we where can we find you guys? You can find us on Instagram at Woody LeBaron and also on Facebook. It's just Woody LeBaron. You search us, you'll find our page. Um, you'll find us on Bandcamp too. We have our three song demo up. It's an old demo. Been some time since that was recorded, but you'll get the gist. Yeah, you'll you'll yeah. understand the concept. <laughs> yeah. So, like I said, they they are one of my favorite local bands. So I guess you could call this a local spotlight. You know. Uh, Unfortunately, that all the members couldn't be here, but it is what it is coming from Taylorville, you know. So, obviously, we, that's where I met you at a show. Yep. So, I'm gonna try and cover you. You'll be here September 2nd. So, try to get at least one good song. So, when Beer and Cheese comes on, I'm gonna shoot some video of that motherfucker coming up. So, oh, yeah, it, yeah, you, it's gonna be a lot faster than you heard it tonight. Oh, yeah, <laughs> no, yeah, you guys are my one of my favorite local bands right now. And, uh, huge shout out to you guys and just keeping the whole. Punk vibe, man. I dig. I don't know. You know, it's Brad's vocals, man. Just really fucking do it for me, dude. And everything else just ties together and just, I think it, it all meshes really well, man. I think it oh, does really, you. you know. So I, I fuck with it a lot. So I definitely, uh, it's much appreciated. Hell like, yeah. I have to, uh, do some, uh, I don't know, shoot a video or something sometime. We, we've kind of talked about it, but we just, haven't done it it's just uh, well a lot of the guys in the band they they have lives that they've been living for a long time that mm -hmm. they have other obligations to things that they have to deal with first i'm mm -hmm. the youngest guy in the band so of course i'm gung-ho about it oh dude no it's bad, it's bad. <laughs> he's like socials <laughs> yes videos content <laughs> yeah, yeah something like that <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm all i'm definitely all about content so uh, uh that's been another amazing episode of the sofa Gang awesome show this is woody LeBaron. this is thundersticks we're signing off. Peace out, yo. Thanks for having us. Thank you.